Hello and welcome, I'm Carl Murawski and this is the channel that helps you own better, look better, and live better. Behind me, I have all of my casual jackets. Now to be fair, I have not scripted this video, so I'm going off the cuff here, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to sort of go through this list here and legitimately only keep five. The rest of them are gonna be sold. So, um, let's start at this end, just because why not, right? Aha, uh -huh. so this is the Satchel and Page Montgomery jacket. I gave this a very high rating when I first got it, and I gotta tell you, it's been great. If you bought one of these, then you know what I'm talking about. It's dense, it's heavy, it feels wonderful. Now, this is not gonna be one of the ones I keep, and I'm gonna tell you why. I recently ripped it somehow, and I don't really know, see right here? On this placket, I, I somehow tore the, the material, which, is some sort of leather. I believe this is like a kind of a rough out, a waxed rough out. But in the, you know, group behind me, no, I'm gonna get rid of that. And I know that's gonna make some of you upset because I've recommended this jacket and I know a lot of people have it and love it. Honestly, I kind of still do too. It pains me a little bit to get rid of it, but out of five, it's not gonna be one of them. All right. Uh, ah. So this is the Tanuki Redcast jacket. And I know that plenty of people would be happy to take this off of my hands if I decided I was gonna get rid of it. But I think this is gonna be one of, the, one of the ones I'm going to keep. And the reason for that is because this is one of those jackets that fits me really, really well. And for a denim jacket, that's not common. This fits me extremely well and I just love all the little details about it. It gets out of the way. Um, it's not too showy, not too flashy. <sighs> Tanuki Red Cast, it's staying. But before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is Visky. Now, Visky certainly embraces the values of this channel of owning better and owning less with their fantastic home bar and glassware. They offer a wide variety of home mixology tools and barware that's not only beautiful, but it's also very functional. Now, my favorite cocktail is the Old Fashioned, and the Visky Revolve Crystal Rocks glass takes it to the next level. Not only is it beautiful to look at, but thanks to the hidden rounded base, it also allows for effortless swirling. Plus, it's fun to see people's reactions as the glass appears to spin on its own. But when it comes time to share a conversation over a couple of drinks, I like the Admiral Heavyweight Bourbon Glasses. These tumblers have a thick base which makes them feel substantial in hand and can also help to accentuate your point when you need to. There's no doubt, loafers are the worst type of footwear. But just do me a favor and browse through the Visky website. It's full of incredible tumblers, glasses, barware, and anything else you need to make yourself or your guests the best drink they've ever had. And you can save 15% if you use discount code CARL15 at checkout. I'm definitely buying some of their Nouveau wine glasses for my wife, and I have the cigar holder and flask on my list. With any luck, my bar will be well stocked to entertain future guests. So definitely go and check out Visky for yourself and save some money by using the code CARL15 at checkout for 15% off your purchase. It's because of sponsors like Visky that I can keep these videos coming to you, so I'd really appreciate it if you go and show them some love. Anyway, let's get back to the list. <laughs> so, okay, all right, I guess we, I, I should start at the other end because this is difficult. This one here is from a company called Articles of Style. They no longer make this anymore. As a matter of fact, Articles of Style has sort of shifted a lot. They used to be a blog, and then they started doing uh, clothing. They came out with some really cool stuff, and then I think COVID happened and just people got way more casual across the board. This was called their Brooklyn Utility Coat, and I ordered this in uh, Harris Tweed with goat skin leather appointments. This is like the coat that I'll wear with a suit, right? This is my dressy coat. Now that being said, it's not exactly perfect. Now, it doesn't have a by swing back or anything like that, so the issue here is that when you go to like kind of do the hug test or anything, it really does stretch across the back. I wish that it had those right there. This was also made to my measurements, so there's no point in getting rid of it unless you're at my exact measurements, which are short and stocky. So the Articles of Style Brooklyn Utility Coat, it stays. Also, Nick from Stridewise really wanted that thing right there, but he's also taller than I am, so I don't think it would fit him. So Nick, I'm sorry. 
Next up, man, oh man, I should have started at that end. Oh man, the Connecticut from Field Leathers. This is a combination uh, of, of efforts between me and Field Leathers where I had an, a vision, he made it come to reality and did a phenomenal job. Matter of fact, a lot of you are now getting your Connecticut jackets, which are just in time for the cold weather and you're realizing how amazing these things are. <sighs> how can I get rid of this? I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. All right, the Connecticut stays. Damn it, I mean, like, I'm like, I'm four jackets in and I've used up three of my spots and I'm sticking to this, all right, so. I'm getting pissed now. All right, this is um the Filson, I think this was the, the Rugged Twill Cruiser. So it's in their Rugged Twill. As you can tell, I really haven't worn it very much. It's, uh, it's you know, it's a great jacket, just like all their other stuff. But, uh, no, that's getting sold. What do we got next? Man, the free note cloth, I think it's the RJ1. This was the, the, the Sherpa lined, you know, 21 ounce denim jacket, which I really, really, really like. I also know that um, Michael from Iron Snail has one of these. He did a video on it too. And it's like, these are really great jackets, But I really don't wear it all that much anymore, so that's going to. Okay. This is where it's gonna get tough, all right? This is again, another Field Leathers jacket, one that I had worked. Um, this was a, like a custom piece, so I just kind of told him what I wanted and for the lining, the design is all him. Oh man, how do I get rid of something? I mean, I got two leather jackets on here three really that like are are end level you know what though i already left a field leathers jacket on there this is shinky horsehide wool lining on the inside here and you know i wear it okay i mean i wear it enough but my gut says this is this has gotta go this is way harder this is way harder than the boot thing was damn all right now I saw this one, so I kind of knew, right? And this is my Himmel jacket. So Himmel Brothers, um, you know, one of my, my favorite jacket makers right up there with the best of them. I think that Field and Himmel right now are kind of neck and neck as far as which one I prefer. But this was my first and custom made to my measurements and everything. And Shinky Horsehide, this cool blue interior. The A1 is a very cool, the A1 Heron, this one right here, is a really cool design. Uh, I gotta keep that, I gotta keep that. All right, so for those of you playing at home, there are four jackets out of the 16 or 17 up here, and I get to choose one out of the rest. One. This is a stupid, this a stupid idea, I shouldn't have done it. All right, um, Tom Beckby, Tensaw. I like this and I don't have any other wax jackets up here, right? No. And you may also notice, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, that none of these are work jackets because I probably have more work jackets than I do casual jackets. And maybe we'll do that next. But I don't consider this a work jacket. The Tensaw is a fantastic jacket, it really is. But it's not one of the five that I'm gonna keep. So that stays, there, that's going. This is a, uh, I actually would wear this quite a bit. This was. Carhartt, when they re or re, uh, reintroduced their camouflage, they did this piece right here. And I think this was originally called the Gilliam jacket. They also make a vest. These are unbelievably warm. It doesn't seem like they're warm, but they really are. This would probably be considered workwear, but I wear it casually. And um, this cannot take the top place. As much as I like that jacket and as warm as it is and everything like that, I have other warm jackets back here. I don't need to duplicate kind of what I have, you know? Uh, Satchel and Page, this is the Satchel and Page bomber jacket. I like it, the sleeves are a little bit long for my taste and I honestly don't wear this one that much anymore. So that one's going. That's a pretty easy one. Um, okay, so the LC King chore coat. Again, I, you could argue this is a work jacket, but I don't wear it to work. Number one reason is because it doesn't have a back, sh a back that has the, you know, a by swing back or anything like that. So when you put it on, it's sort of hard to move in. This one has to go as well. 
All right. Uh, my father's Filson Mackinac Cruiser. You know I can't get rid of this. So, yep, this stays. It's got to stay. This was the piece that really, you know, changed my mind. I mean, that is just a, that's a family heirloom, you know? So let's see what else I'll be getting rid of. This is the, um, who made this? Oh, this is uh, the TCB recreation of the old Carhartt chore jacket. And actually somebody out there, one of the viewers asked me if they could buy it a while ago. And I'm sorry, but I, I could not find your email or anything like that. And, and I am gonna be selling it. So, you know, you asked a long time ago, I'm sorry, but if you really are still interested, please send me another email. I'm, I'm really bad about that stuff, you know. So what else is gonna be going? Oh, this is the Filson Aberdeen, I think. Wax jacket. And to be honest with you, since I tested it, I haven't worn it. So that's kind of a no-brainer. And then finally, this is, ah, Taylor Stitch long haul jacket. And I believe the green cast selvage, selvage? Yes, the green cast selvage, which is cool. I like it, but it fits me really weird. Like these things here, the, 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 the um, long haul jacket, they never quite fit me right. Not like the Tanuki does. The Tanuki almost feels like a custom piece, but the long haul jackets, I don't know what it is exactly. You know, it's something about, something about, again, this area right here, right? You know, like, if, if I can't reach and grab something, maybe when you're, when you're driving, you know what I mean? So your hands are on the wheel and then you gotta turn and look at all the pulling right there. It's just like, they never fit me quite right, even if I thought I got the right size. So, <sighs> the Taylor Stitch long haul jacket is also going. There are some pieces in here that would honestly, I'd be just fine living with for the rest of my life. But in comparison to the five that I have here, they just don't hold up. So let's take a look at our finalists. These are the Filson Mackinac Cruiser, which was my father's. This is the Himmel Brothers A1 Heron. The Field Leathers slash Carl Murawski Connecticut B3 Bomber. The Articles of Style Brooklyn Utility Coat no longer available. And the Tanuki Redcast Denim Jacket. Now I'm sticking to this. These are gonna go. First is uh, friends and family. Friends and family get their choice if they want one of these right here. Then it will go to members of my Patreon. They support me financially. And so I try to do everything I can for my patrons. After that, it'll go to the Discord. After that, maybe socials. And then finally eBay grailed or whatever. But these are going. And I gotta tell you though, that kind of breaks my heart. That was way more difficult than I thought. I figured for sure five would be a no brainer, but I have really kind of weeded through them quite a bit as I've gotten them. And so the ones that are up there are sort of up there for a reason. And I never thought for, you know, that it would be that hard to get rid of all but five jackets. But now we have to do the drawing for last week's winner. Again, what you do is comment the key phrase down in the comment section below. We do a random comment picker. That will pick somebody who had mentioned that comment. I check to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and then you win $100 via Tremendous. Okay, congratulations. So if you would like to win $100 via Tremendous, all you have to do is leave the key phrase, only five jackets, only five jackets in the comment section below. I'll then do a drawing next week let you know through a comment from me, from this channel, no telegram, no BS scammers out there, and then we will sort out the rest via email, okay? Trying to keep everybody safe, making sure nobody gets scammed. And if you would like to see a review on any of these jackets right here, I put them all in a playlist for you. All of these jackets have been reviewed, I believe, and I put them all in a playlist, so if you wanna go and check out any of these, research them, see what my thoughts were, you can go ahead and check out that playlist. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.